Hey folks, welcome back to Fallowsfield Arbiter's Mark Missions and Monsters. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Some things have happened. A resounding success, no less. And the Dramestid Serum, which we did have another one we mentioned last time. But more importantly, we just got ourselves a new Wrangler recruit. Yes, indeed. What level did you come in at, buddy? 11. Not bad. It's much your average level. Fantastic. So, two shakes of lamb's jiffy. So, just explain what happened. We opened up with taking this Azure Fields fight. We have a new region for new guild missions. There were a lot of non-repeatable ones, which I already did. Because um, it only took two goes, basically. The Sisperian Byways. Uh, all these are non-repeatable. Uh, but, what happened was, we did the Monster Mine, which unlocked the Wrangler class. Which is dope. And then, we got Monster Wrangling, which gives us our new Wrangler recruit. So now, instead of just having our doggy, um, we will be able to actually get some pretty cool animals. And also, we have a Sylvan variant on our doggy, which I want to see too. Let's take a look at that. And then, we're going to do a little bit of time lapse while I improve our Wrangler recruit to doing what I want him to do. But first, what kind of Sylvan class do you have here? Pack Leader of Angle. Venomous. We have Venom Serum. Okay. So basically we dose them with serum and they mutate in weird ways. What is Sylvan? Healing Touch and Life Font. Yeah, what does this do? We'll learn some abilities from the Sylvan. I don't want to pop the other stuff because I don't know what skills they have yet. So, um, Healing Touch. Using a regular attack and ally heals instead of dealing damage and grants them renew. Damn! That's what that guy was doing last fight. Okay, and he gives him renew too, shit. Mass heal. Restore HP to target and... Ooh, that's neat. That's an ability we don't have elsewhere, and it's huge range. Wow. That feels broken, only for six mana? Hmm. Life font. Damn, alright. That sounds good. Anyways, um, two shakes of lamb's jiffy. Be right back. All right, and we're back. So, as I have promised, RG, your first Wrangler is you. I think you and I have a very different definition of cheerful as far as the orc portrait goes. I think he looks like he's about to murk somebody, but sure, let's go with cheerful. And uh, I made his appearance look as close to that portrait as possible with the kind of dreadlocky hair, the bandana, and the shoulder plates, plus the kind of harness strap going across. So, what does a Wrangler do? Totally new class to missions and monsters, and this is how we get all the monsters in the crew, apparently, because, uh, again, I try not to spoil too much of this, so it's not, like, totally like, oh, yeah, I know where this goes. Um, and then, yeah, so here we go Tame is his base ability, which does half magical attack, okay, so not a lot of damage, but it will not kill. Target has a chance of being recruited depending on their HP. So the lower it is, the better it is. Bypasses all counters, ignores protect, only works on monsters. So basically, in a monster fight, you want this guy taming ad nauseum. And then we get Frenzy, Attack and Mind to all monster units is pretty good. Kind of like a Beastmaster type unit, this guy. Uh, grants... Wait, what? Grants attack and removes mind. Grants mind and removes attack. Oh, I see. So either physical or mental. Good. Uh, grants attack and mind to the character being targeted. That's useful. Heal. Okay, it's range four, but teleports to an adjacent tile. Okay, I can see that being useful. Kind of sending a monster out and bringing it back. Beast Whisperer. Seventy-five percent chance of inflicting charm. If successful, the target is mind controlled, and a mind controlled unit immediately gets a turn upon receiving the effect. Interesting. I wonder if it keeps charmed afterwards, or you just get the one one mind control. Hmm. Curious to see. Whenever an ally monster falls in battle or defeats an enemy, character gains a 10% bonus to their speed for the duration of the battle, up to 40%. Okay, so if something dies or kills something, you get more speed. Alright, I mean that's pretty good for him recruiting more stuff, I guess. Tag team, Kyra removes a currently deployed monster, replace it with a non-deployed monster, new monster will turn the HP and MP of the removed unit. I wonder if they both get experience. Huh, check that out. Skirmish can make another movement of one after taking an action. That's useful, so move, act, move. It's good. Hunt, wow, okay. 1.5 fire damage to monster units and reduce damage to non-monsters. Counts a regular attack and uses the weapon's element, but does fire as well, so we'll do both, or will it, the weapon's element supersede? Unclear, yet again. Attack, 
All allied monster units execute a regular attack that bypasses counters in the current direction. Damn. I think it's going to be like this guy and like four monsters or five monsters on a mission at times. I think that's my goal. We'll have like beast crew. A beast crew's going to go out and wreck face. <laughs> I think it's my goal for RG here. I think he's going to be good with anything else. Just a crew. It's a monster crew. And maybe a gunner because, you know, they're OP. And grants the target an immediate turn. And so basically only reason a monster unit. So unlike quick and... Gambler, which is for everything. So this is very powerful stuff, I think. I mean, only for monsters. And the other question I have is, how does the class growth look like? If we want to level as a Wrangler is a question. Uh, mastery is not bad, but... Alright, Gadgeteers? Oh, it's right next to Gadgeteers. So it's, the Gadgeteers is a good baseline, because it basically level across the board. Baseline speed, all stats are 4, and then HP 7, MP 2.5. So it's kind of like a total vanilla... Um, stat build for Gadgeteers, kind of all-rounders. So relative to the Gadgeteer, the Wrangler has more HP, less MP, so a little more on the physical side. And, wow. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Wow. They must think the class is really powerful from its functionality, because they really nerfed the stats. Holy shit. So you don't want to stay as a Wrangler. You want to get the skills in GTFO. Yeah. At least the requirements are pretty low, Knight 3, Mender 3. Wow, but look at that. That's that's pretty terrible. There's lower attack, lower def, lower mind, lower res, and just a little more speed, but that does not make up for it. Wow, okay, yeah, so the Wrangler stats suck from a growth perspective. Um, so yeah, get the skills, get out, and uh, go from there. Okay, cool. Well, we have a plan, Argy. We can get you the hell out of this class as soon as humanly possible. Oh, you come with it. Wow, you come with a cool spear. Fleeing spike. We don't even have these wet we don't even have these things in the store. Can I get one of these? Bruh, where did you get these? Did you get them from here? <laughs> where where did you get the cool stuff? Nope, ain't from here. This is for my little Kawa yachts here. Did you suddenly get new stuff that I didn't know about? Or did you just come in with like high-tech gear? I think he came in with high-tech gear. He did, son of a bitch. Alright. Touche, salesman, touche. Alright, well, I think the goal with Argy is going to be anytime there's a monster fight, we're going to put him out there to deploy and increase our menagerie that he's going to mention going to combat with, which, it's kind of exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do. But yeah, we're going to get those skills. We're going to put him through a bunch of missions to get those AP up, get all the regular skills, and get to a class that's, you know, useful. <sighs> anyway. Um, but Banyanya Span. I think Banyanya Span is actually a fight of of uh, humans, so, and again, as much as I don't want to keep using my gunners and abusing them, I'm going to need to, because remember, this fight is ridiculous as far as movement goes. Maybe we'll get into a normal fight eventually. One of these days. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and do that, uh, shortly. Alright, so, let's jump into the actual fight here. I've rearranged the crew a little bit, we'll see what's going on there. I think I said Argy's probably not going to have his first run now, because Banyanya Span doesn't have any monsters to tame, but I'm sure that'll change soon-ish. We have a bunch of people running secondary classes to grab passives, but story time. It's a hambush, the bacon tree. And they're purple. Oh good, more bandits. You can hardly walk down the road without tripping over them. Has it always been this bad? The pilgrimage made things worse. The arbiters have been stretched thin dealing with the chaos in the market's wake. On the bright side, once your pilgrimage is complete, you'll be in a position to do something about it. Thanks, Reiner. Oh, they gave him a portrait. What is this? Yeah, I mean, come on, right? A group of trespassers traipsing down our road, careless as you please. Come on, fellas, still time for a bit of fun before a big job. Kill them all, we'll split the loot when we're done. Bold of you. Don't mean many bandits willing to challenge a full company of arbiters. A full company? We all be. Ah, whatever. You lot go on, Ed. Doubt you're worth our time anyway. Be quick about it and stay out of the way. You're not serious, I hope. You just ordered your men to butcher us. I don't think we're dealing with the sharpest knife in the block here. And did not change my mind, didn't I? You can save your thanks. Don't need any of the trouble that seems to follow arbiters wherever they go. Well, trouble's what you've got. Surrender or we will pass judgment on you here and now. You threatening me? 
Ha! <laughs> I'll give you every chance to leave the whole skin. Back to first plan, everyone. Where they're standing, I want to see a field of corpses. Or a forest. Oh, you know what I mean. Slay them all. I like plants. This is a problem with criminal organizations. No standards. Alright. Banana spin! Defeat the leader. Alright, we'll do it. Uh, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of fucking dudes, and they're level 13. Okay, they're leveled up here. That's cool. So we get to put five more units. All right, so we have obviously some folks who are not quite where we need to be, but we'll do work. I'm actually gonna go ahead and oh, I need to change some some setups here, because given that we're not running with a full stack, so to speak, uh, some folks are gonna get back up. That is it. There it is. And I want not double cast, but economy. I'm gonna need to tweak around a couple things. Like I said, there's no critters here, so Argy's gonna wait till we actually have a critter battle. Then he can start building his menagerie of doom. But for the moment, Bite Bolt's gonna do some work. Uh, Night Mender probably won't be playing. Alchemistic War Mage is gonna play. Uh, he's obviously in Alchemistic though. Duelist Peddler's gonna be in the front line. Yeah, we're trying to get Mystic Shield on a bunch of people. He's trying to fill out Alchemistic. Um, a lot of things going on. We have a Gunner War Mage, because that's what we do. And we have our puppy! Misha's gonna go in, because he's got the uh, Sylvan thing. He can't heal currently, not effectively at least. But uh, he is gonna be quite effective for us, so that'll be fine. Let's see how this goes. This might not be great, because this is not, you know, the best setup of crew. And they're not in their optimal classes either. So, you know, things will be a little more challenging, but it'll be alright. He doesn't have any actually skills from Sylvan right now. He just has a precise strike and steal item, but that's all right. I'm gonna kind of get on here and try to control the space a bit, because if we can kind of control the space, we control the spice. The spice must flow. Right. Do these guys still have that bullshit trick of I'm immune to things? Hold on, let's see. Oh no, they don't. Huh? Oh, ping. No, th this used to be. Ignore range. They used to have um, counter of, of evade attack, evade attack, and that was bullshit. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, that was that was complete bullshit. So now, at the very least, we don't have to deal with that, which is nice. All right, but we do have some really annoying and raging things, so we need to kill that bitch. Post haste, chill quick, good sir. Chop chop. All right, infused edge as much damage as you possibly can to the wench. Hello. We do have a tack up on our War Mage Gunner now, so she kind of got a couple points in the Scoundrel. So we currently have uh, Attack Expert and Leech Mana. So that should stand us in relatively good stead. A Duelist Peddler we want on the front line ASAP. We also want a last... This is where traps are going to be fucking money. Um, I don't worry about that side. I want to be baited in, actually. Rooting shot is not what we want to see. At all. And that's a very damaging rooting shot, actually. 52. Holy balls. Well, burn your potion. It kind of undoes all my work, but that's fine. As long as you don't do too much. We need to heal up our poor wizard. But that's what soul magic is for. Actually, no, I can't do anything with that. So, I guess feel the potion as well. You can. I, we have a tier two, tier three potion now. I don't know what it is. Tier star. It's the third level, not the base level, not one upgrade, but upgrade two. Let's call it upgrade two. What did you get? Let me guess. Rebirth. Of course he does. <laughs> Our RNG follows us. Our RNG fucking follows us. Straight no chaser. Unbelievable. Should we even wait? Or should we just go? Let's just let's just um, make the next turn come faster by not acting. Oh, Layways is only 16. Oh, I can't wait. Yep, we'll hang. I'm still gaining mana anyway, so. Now what I want is a stagger here, so I can wait. Can we can we do the thing that I want to do? Yeah, we can rally howl here. Get extra whooping power. Then, we can kind of bait like that. I really want someone to go around the other side here. And I'm glad you like Mass Thorns, buddy, but it's getting weird. What are you doing? I don't know. 
Oh, tough call. Hi. That's totally fine. Doggy took a bit of a whooping there. He's gonna take more of a whooping. Yeah, that's it. Minus 66. I wanna do more. Can I do more? Yes, I can. Good night. And due to life fond, I actually do want to get up here. Just get a little bit of a, a peep of health. And I'm going to try to put a trap down, ideally. Okay. I gotta make them bait it into the trap. And the verticality on these maps is getting irritating. What I'm going to do is turn my back to him when I put this trap down here. I'm going to turn my back like that. And that should bait him into doing something stupid. Okay, I can't quite reach the gunner. I gotta get this guy the fuck out of here. What's the range on him? Your weapon... Ooh, composite bow. You got some fancy shit. Range 6. Okay, you're zero seven. Hold on, hold on, stop. Okay. 1, okay. You're zero seven. So if I'm here... 1... Wait. Let me try to count this properly. Zero seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, if we're at zero, seven can't reach us. Correct. Okay. So, if I can go here, remedy him. Crap, I can't get there. Son of beach. Well, he can remedy himself, so that's fine. I'm gonna go banana the crap out of you here in a second. Bullet infusion. No, I want infused edge. Thunder, thunder, thunder hacks. Ooh, I need to purge some shit off him. Do I have a dispel? I don't think I have a dispel, actually. Do I not have a dispel? I should have a dispel somewhere. No, I think he had a dispel, but it's one of his other classes. Do you have a dispel? No. Does anyone have a dispel? You don't have a dispel for sure. Okay, what's going to have to do is a fucking hard way. And kill him twice. Alright then. Start the killing then, I suppose. Actually, you know what? I want to bait someone to come in there. Like, come on. Come come to my back here. Battle magic. Infused edge. Thunderbolt. Are you weak to anything? No. The fact that he has a rebirth is, is quite the hassle, honestly. He's got really weak res. Oh, man. We're not doing a lot of damage here. You need to upgrade my weaponry and my levels. Ow! Okay. Can I move yet? No. I'm going to quickly remedy. Beast, beast up some more magic so I can go around and kill more things. And I'm gonna stay back here so that ranger can't touch me. Yeah, burn your ashes, that's totally fine. That's going to lay waste very soon. Should be able to reach me here. Son of a bitch. She can reach me. Okay, that's getting annoying. Okay, what I'm probably gonna do is cast Master Renew here. Gonna keep us out of diapers for a little while. Go on the trap, go on the trap. You didn't go for his back! Oh, because he wanted the double double. Well, he could have gone the double double on the trap. I was sure he would be baited into that. Right, whatever. At least we can get him now. A side attack for quite good damage. That's nice. Snap back. Oh, I would love to just go on the trap and snap him, but I can't. That's fine. Lick Wound, Stunning Strike. Which, where are you on your thing? You can go quite slow, but I'm pretty sure I've got you dead to rights regardless. You'll be dead and that'll go away. So, yeah, I suppose. Is there anything from here I can really use? Bypass his reaction abilities. That's not too exciting. But I do have a passive chance to bleed this guy. So, fuck it. Let's just attack the guy. Oh, 50? Oh, never mind. The difference is 52. And, but here has thorns up already, so this is half a dozen of one. Alright, we'll do a little extra damage then. Good doggy. Oh, I have renew. I believe. Yeah, buddy, let's keep going. Yeah, uh, don't worry. Don't worry, we'll get you. We'll get you though. We'll get you. You might potion up again, but again, that's just them wasting their potions. So, I'm kind of okay with this. This might sting a bit. There might be some momentary discomfort. <laughs> The health leech is a very good skill to have on this. Wow, he did not really get that much health back, did he? Those traps. 
I'm telling you, man, the peddler's a great idea. In theory. But I, I feel like he's not been delivering the way I want him to deliver. If I were... Crafting a skill here. Alright, can we do something a little more whooping? Yeah. 14. It's still not going to be enough for anything exciting. Uh, fused Edge, Thunderbolt. Can we actually get this guy down? 62. Yes, we can. And now he'll be permanently dead. Thank you. Job's done. Alright. I'll get behind the trap in case someone tries to get you. I mean, we're pretty secure from that side. I wonder if the AI is playing smart here. And then, like, they're pretending they know something they should, theoretically. Oh, my doggy. No. Doggy's a little flimsy, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and lick our wounds for sure here, but... How much else I can do? Just to you. I think there's actually... A bit of a... Blockage there. Yeah, you can go with that tree root, so... It might sting. It's not great. You're about to lay some waste, though. You're gonna move a little closer to all these guts's. Then you're gonna lay some waste. Can we get the Reaver is my question. Oh, only just missed. Really? One HP? Asshole. Alright. Anything we can do better. Just, no, oh, fuck. Alright, fine. That's really... Is the Reaver weak? To, oh, let me just double check if there's any elemental weaknesses. Just to be safe. Take advantage of. Now he's strong to holy. That's the only thing he's... Damn. Sure we can't get him with something? 45, son of a bitch. Wait, can I get closer to him? Wait, I can if I'm just actually here. Is that true? Because I think I'm going to be closer to him that way. Nope, still 45. Let's just see what's, what's potentially closer. Okay, this is actually closer to him by one tile. If that gets me the one damage, I'm going to be a happy camper. No, son of a bitch. Okay, fine. I tried. I really did. <laughs> I did everything I could. One HP. Son of a bitch! Yeah, it's fine. Just realize we don't have any reses in this team, except for a phoenix. Kind of rude. That dude just not gonna move for- Wow, there's a lot of reaction abilities that go across the map in this fight. That's fine, buddy. You can defend all day, son. All day. Okay, I'm probably gonna go ahead and pop. Um, Mass Renew is interesting, but we already kind of have it up on people. I need to get it up on Garrison, because he's actually in a little bit of a... bit of a bad way, so... You are just not coming around. Very weak heals, but that's fine. Alright, buddy. Time to earn your keep. Keep, keep. Can we rock something? Can we patented usage rock something is the question. We haven't... Oh, we can't use any... Oh, it's a skill, not a spell. That makes sense. Yeah. Dang, that kind of sucks. So, my best move is going to be to... Am I going to step my own trap here? No, I should be fine. Item, and I'm going to go ahead and remedy the Berserk off of you. Because Enraging Bullet is tray annoying. I do much with this. I'd really like to get at that gunner if possible, but I can't get the range. I would need to be over one to the right. I remember this being a pain in the ass because you can't really get anywhere with anything. Res down. So you don't have a lot of spellcasters, so that might not be that useful. Okay, that's not dangerous at all. I'm not saying that facetiously either. Facetious? For Jesus. Jesus. Alright, lick wounds. Yes, we can lick. Licky, licky, drumsticky. Now we're healing up. Reducing the likelihood of a horrible end, so that's fine. 
Whatever news has been useful. Okay, now I can get rid of... I can almost get rid of what I want to get rid of. Yeah, man, those traps just... <laughs> Uh, Peddler, just again, it's a yet another fight where it seems like a great idea, and it's just not happening. And we have a lot of options to get at that guy, so I'm actually not going to kill him. I'm going to go and infuse Edge. I don't think I need to infuse something big. I think I should infuse... So I can kill that guy for sure. Can I... If I infuse something huge, can I kill the gunner? Because she's actually quite dangerous. Son of a gunner. But... Hmm... Okay, she's quite the evasive one. That was not what I meant to do, I meant to kill the ranger instead. Fuck. My mistake, because now he's going to go. That was dumb. That's not what I was thinking at all. Kill that guy, that's what I wanted to do. We used a basic attack, that's an odd choice. Oh, because I can't do anything, that's what he's banking on, which makes sense. But this is a spell, okay, gotcha. Oh, well, you're dead anyway, so... We will rock you. Okay, and my back is safe here, so this is fine. Cripples off. We're gonna berserk. I'm gonna silence. Silence the healer, which makes sense. That's actually a good move for a change. We do need to get rid of that damn gunner at some point. That's not a lot of damage. Rain of Arrows is not a highly damaging spell, so I'm not too worried about that at all. You can keep doing that. Ain't gonna help you much, Kalima. Kalima? Kalima! Alright, lay waste. Do some more. Do some more. Guy's got a lot of res. I'll give him that. I like the meteors. They're cool. Though I guess Darkstorm is really bitching too. Like skeletal hands coming out of stuff. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just. <laughs> just quills are shooting out of people's asses across the entire banana span. Banana span? I can't quite get up here, can I? Oh, yes, I can. Ooh, can I rock you? What did I kill you? Yeah, this is fine. No! I don't have patented usage. Right, right, right. I don't have extra damage up in this bitch. Alright, um. Fine. Hello. I'm gonna blow you wrathfully. That's what it says on the tin! Shut up. Uh... This way? I know he might actually get that axe in my ass, so... Not a good look. Ass axes are a bad scene. Okay, I'll just hang out here for now, and just wait for that to go off. Oat hing. That's problematic. Yay. Okay. Thanks. Didn't they get rid of the charm or the berserk? No, it didn't. So basically, he, he basically berserked someone and then made it so that guy can't hit anything once berserked. That's fascinating. Any way we can unfuck somebody here? Huh. We're really good at using the space here on this map, um, which is, of course, annoying, but we are. Uh, let's go ahead and just go here for doggy's sake. And just, just keep people fixed up. Because him hitting us might actually hurt quite a lot. Okay, I need to not have a problem with you anymore. Ideally. I think I need a big one with you, though, either. Yeah, you're down. There's a lot of enrage and taunt here, which is a bit annoying, but... Like I said. We, we brew a wide swath of pain here. Alright. Sucker! Yeah, that's why you don't blind the guy you just berserked. That's why you don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna rock this guy, because that's an easy choice when I can't do anything else. Hello. Booyah! Cool. It's gonna be a very weak poison spell. Yep, pretty much. Do you have enough to lay waste? Oh, he doesn't. Well, boo. Oh, you can actually move, finally. Good. And we'll just kind of hang. What are your skill sets? Scoundrel 9, do you have taunt as well? You do. Okay. 
It's a bit annoying. I mean, I, getting out of this kind of corner hole is very important. And do we have any remedies? I think we used both, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. So that, that Berserk's gonna have to deal. Uh, so what do we do? Do we try to wipe everyone out here, or do we give the dog some space to function? I mean, the issue... I mean, the dog might be able to get there, actually. So this is 48 for heavy hit. You know, I could also go one for all. And then beat the snot out of that guy. Let's try that out. At least get one swing out of it. I don't use ability enough, I think. I believe. Son of a gun. Can't get up there. Can I stunning strike that guy just to slow things down? That'd be nice. Leave for me. Delayed! Oh yeah, root me. That's fine. Doggy knows what's up. Now we can infuse something big. Like a pulsar. This guy's keister, so he's gonna get a swing from Kiri as well. Yep, and swing. Oh, prick. Oh, guy's almost down. I wanna kinda start blocking things with my face a little bit. Ah, that didn't hit the guy, so there is a... That was a bad choice. There clearly is a height limit to this. It's interesting. Still trying to poison me. Not succeeding. This is your last Zerk attack. Alright. Two hits for change, but again, not that much damage. I like their status effect this fight, but they're really not doing too much. Like, it's annoying and potentially threatening, but not that bad. The the mute, the constant mute here is what's getting me, really. Should I come up here and just have a mass renew available for people? I think that's what we need to do. There we go. Alright, let's get on it. Lay waste. Oh god, he's just slamming this. Let's do Dark Storm because it looks dope. Yeah, skeleton hands, skeleton hands. That sorcerer skill is gonna be amazing. Once we get him in Lich and just do this every turn, non-stop, over and over and over, it's gonna be fun. Hey, Kalema. Can I kill you? Can't kill you. Can't do you. OMG. All right. Well. That's fine, because I don't mind. Kyrie's got plenty of juice left in the tank. It's not quite correct, that idiom, but no, I can't... Hmm. Yeah, I need... I mean, if I had my normal healers, I'd have pan Panacea in here, so... This is kind of a... somewhat incorrect view on how limited my party is in dealing with status effects, but, I mean, it is a thing. Give me that guy real quick. Just a good shot in the keister and gets us a distilled water. Rotten Loth. So magic. Um. Well, Kiri's not going to get a fix anytime soon, so just... We get side effects, don't we? We give her a little bit of HP to top this off. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. A little more so that guy probably can't kill her. Probably. I would hate to lose the AP bonus for that. Yep, okay, still going after the guy who got his back turned, which kind of makes sense. But Kide is really low on HP, but maybe he knows the jig is up more or less. He's bleeding out. Can we Falcon Flourish him to death? Oh yeah, we, we definitely can. Oh, we do have a res. We have our duelist. I forgot. Duelists have res. 
Which is just the most random ability to give a duelist, honestly. I'm not really sure where the hell I can. God damn it. <sighs> I'm, I'm not really... Right, I'm gonna probably give this secondary... Ugh. I'm gonna give the secondary peddler thing another another mission or so, but it the experiment is not not really going how I want it to go. It's just not that useful, which is irritating. I don't mind the being rooted. It's okay, Banyanya. All right, well, time to attack you. I guess you asked for it. Good doggy. How the fuck are you not dead? I'm pretty sure you're dead. There we go. That was weird. Oh, because we have Skirmish, I think. That's why. Alright. Add a doggy. Michael Leather. Good. I need more of that, actually. An Aegisite ingot. Ooh. Isn't that used for some of the better badges? That could be interesting. But hey, that fight worked. I'm surprised he survives that blow. And disappointed. The kid's good for something after all, huh? What should we do with him? It is inconvenient, but I won't strike down an unarmed man, especially one in his state. We'll take him to the nearest Arbiter Chapter House. They can decide his fate. The closest is Thesperos, but the Chapter House there is too small to take prisoners. Then he travels with us for the time being. Or he would, if he was able to walk. Yates, anything you can do to get him in marching condition? Oh, certainly. I could do something for him. If I were inclined to say if he had an interesting or incurable disease. But the variety of lacerations, contusions, and traumas plaguing this man have no interest to me whatsoever. But I thought you were a famous doctor. Aren't doctors supposed to treat anyone in need? I am not a simple country doctor, nor am I a veterinarian, nor am I a simple country lawyer. My healing gift is dispensed only to the deserving of those interestingly affected. Mess man is neither. Yeah, he's kind of a prick. I see. Hello, fellow arbiters. He seems nice. I'm Captain Dolman. You're Captain Kyrie, yes? Well met, Dolman. I'm gratifying to meet fellow arbiters on the road. What brings you to this area? I like how they lord outfit with like the mercenary cap. Looks pretty dope. I like that they give these guys portraits too now. I've heard about your reputation for directness. I like it. We are on patrol, simply looking out for anyone in need and clearing the roads of filth when we find it. I've seen him sing song, you don't you? He said, hello, arbiters, right? Heard also about your new mark status. I'm surprised you took the time away from the pilgrimage to sort out this riffraff. Thinking us helpless travelers, this scum was planning to put our entire group to the sword for no better reason than robbery. Such flagrant villainy is not something I'm willing to let pass. I understand completely. No arbiter worth their salt would allow his type to run free. <coughs> But now this blackguard has burdened you with another problem. Thesperus' chapter house cannot accommodate prisoners. I'm sure you want to return to your pilgrimage. Why don't we take him off your hands? That would be much appreciated. It is no more than my duty. <laughs> Get him ready for travel. Does something smell funny to you too? It isn't the fish. We'll be on our way then. Ta ta! Glad to have met you, Captain Kyrie. I wish you the best of luck on your pilgrimage. And a good journey to you and your team, Captain Dolman. Dolman out! Hello! <laughs> He's my new favorite yet. How fortuitous! <laughs> Bullshit. It seems to be, doesn't it? That skirmish costs us valuable time. Let's get moving. We'll stop at Thesperus to resupply, then on to the next temple. Temple, that's purple lettering, so you know it's intense. Alright. Oh, we missed a Sinoodal fruit? We missed einen Sinoodal fruit! Okay, well. We'll survive, I suppose. But let's see what we've won. That was a good fight. Um, despite the fact we didn't have, like, I mean, I don't want to call it prime because all our guys are good. Guys and gals. So let's be inclusive. All our persons. <laughs> Eh, folks, I'm gonna call it that. Um, let's see what we've won as far as skills go. We're trying to get all these fights to be actually useful for everyone. Uh, execute's nice. I mean, like, getting these abilities are good, but Execute's a really good passive to have. Avenger's kind of shit, though, because I don't really plan on losing too many people. None do. Alright, you'll get to dual wield soon, buddy. So he can actually be useful when he gets into a fight. 
and you're trying to get versatile, which you did with that fight. Awesome. So now I think we put him back to... Was it Druid Sorcerer in that order? I think. Yeah, because basically what we want... That's what his class is going to be. Druid Sorcerer with the Lich passive for blood magic, effectively. And that's kind of how we're going to build him. I don't think there's really anything else we need to do on this guy, practically speaking. He has Mystic Shield, too, so... Which I'm not going to put in now, obviously, because he doesn't have blood magic yet. Um, so let's just set him up while we're here. And now you can see all the stuff I do behind the scenes. You're like, no, no, please make it stop. And okay, you're, you're going to see it anyway. If, if you don't want to see it, tune out. Uh, I mean, I guess it's like, yeah, this is how you make the episode of short reviews, but uh, whatever. Um, all right, so let's just check what has a better stats, just for the sake of sanity. I think I'm going to need to put Druid Primary anyway, because Mind, Expert, and Double Cast are important as it is. Um, but 6 and 3, 4, 3.5, 4.5. I wish I could e do an easy compare. We can sort. How do we sort? How do we just sort? I just sorted somehow. I'm not sure how I... How did I sort it by? What did I sort it by? I don't know what I just did, but it made things confusing to me. Now the source is further away. This is unpleasant. I don't understand what sort does. Does it keep everything over and move everything else? I'm very confused. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so so Sorcerer 5 and 5.5, .5, so 6 and 3, so very different, very low MP growth, but again, that won't be relevant later for us because we're going to be using Blood Magic, so that's not a big deal. 3.2 on attack and 5.5 .5 on mind, so more attack, less mind, so really, primary Sorcerer would be better. Um, but then we can't do what we want with the build later, but having him level a Sorcerer makes more sense. Okay, so we're going to change you to Sorcerer, and we're going to put Druid Secondary for now. So at least leveling him that way would be would be more appropriate. Uh, Mind Expert. And do we need Double Cast here or Versatile? I think Versatile would be fine. Mind Expert is probably fine. We don't Double Cast with him anyway, given how expensive Lay Waste is. So that's fine. And then Magic on Defense is alright. Uh, Mystic Shield again would be kind of a waste. So yeah, we're going to leave you like that. And Reiner, like I said, has a couple... Oh, you have 664 points in Druid. We have a lot of Druids on the squad. No joke. So, he clearly has a lot of points there. You need one more skill point there, and I think three in Merc. Yeah, but our, our guy's pretty much done until he gets... Until he gets... Um, thank you for that. Until he gets uh, Lich classes, effectively. Abilities learn. You can buff up your Alchemistic ability. Refresh. Mass Insight. And Refresh could actually be pretty relevant here because we do put a lot of buffs down. And having them just kind of keep rolling is going to be its own value. Barrier might be good later, so we're going to wait till we tack up that. You got Ranger points. I'm not sure why, because you're a gunner. Did you not gain any gunner points from that? No, you didn't. Okay, again, we're trying to move him toward Assassin. We'll see how that's going to go. I'm not really sure how we're going to move open at this point. He could be Templar. He could not be. What is this? I can Mystic, right? You're trying to get um, the thing with the thing with the thing, Mystic Shield. Gunner, more points. I mean, he's doing really well here. Uh, Dakota is doing work. Misho did really well. I'm very proud of him. So Healing Touch, this is going to be very, very useful because he can heal and renew and he'll have life font. So I think that's what we're going to keep him as kind of support healer. The doggy seems to be doing pretty well in that sense. Uh, you all don't really matter that much as far as things go. I mean, we're not going to be using these characters, so it's not like there's a really huge push on that, but alright, whatever. Let's just clean this up so we have a little, few less things to look at. And did you get anything worth the damn in Wrangler? Did not, but soon. Okay, so, we've won a lot of things. We also got a couple items, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check the inventory. Uh, we got a Clarity Band, which avoids Berserk, which could be useful to Focus Crystal. Um, I might put on our Wizard so it doesn't get muted. That could be a very useful thing. Um, this is what we got from the previous fight, actually, not anything else. And then what else do we need, do we get? We got... I'm running, I'm blank. We got something else that was interesting to me. The Aegisite ingot, right. Which will open up some crafting possibilities, I think. So what do we got? Gear and components. Not just components, gear. Uh, nothing too exciting, actually, with that. I was pretty sure the Aegisite ingot was a baseline for some sort of badge. We probably don't have what we need elsewhere. No, okay. Well, I guess I think are good for a number of things, if I recall correctly. Our gadgets are... Wow, we crafted most of the gadgets already, which is huge. What's the Aegisite used for? Anything? Ah, there we go. Why isn't it organized by things we can build? It's 
very bizarre. The shield with specific elemental resistances. These are never too exciting to me, honestly. Um, but that's really, it seems. And then we have the collars, which give animals some buffs like attack, defense, res, and a couple other things, which will be quite useful. Mind and speed. Yeah, there's a whole pile of different things these all give. Like mind. Is there one mind and attack? No, there isn't. And that might be powerful. And we have spiked shoes, which give us plus one movement and ten attack. Better grip means better speed, plus three crit. If we go a crit build, that might be something good to build. Oh, a spellbook shield. This is neat. A shield for spellcasting who's the range of spells by one. I've never that's a new item. I've never seen that before. And grants thorns when HP is critical. That seems less useful, but the stats are decent. Okay, so some things to consider with crafting, which I'll consider next time. Alright, that's our overall valuation of what we've won ex post. I've been nurse, this has been Fail Seal, Arbiters Mark, Missions and Monsters, and hopefully we'll be getting into the monsters part of this a little more, so we just unlocked the Wrangler class. Uh, and I think the next fight, if I recall correctly, at Echidna Falls, is most assuredly a monster fight, uh, which we can hopefully try to tame. Like, whoa! Until next time, I've been nurse. Till then.